Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Bridges channel. This channel is about bridges, my bridges, your bridges. Today's short episode is about an interview that I gave to Dennis from the YouTube channel The House of Techless Structures. The next episode will be the first of a back-to-back -back tutorial about Bridge Creator Extension for Techless Structure software. Without delay, let's see it. Good day, everyone. So this is Dennis from the House of Tecla Structure. Okay, good day to you, Gabriel. So here's the first question. So uh, what is your professional background? Thanks, Dennis, for having me uh, on your uh, House uh, of Tecla Structure YouTube channel. Uh, well, my professional background, uh, I've started doing drawings by hand uh, back mm -hmm. in 1988 uh, in Portugal. So wow. when I was doing bridges and some roads, mm -hmm. in that time, there were no computers. Uh, and then a couple of years after that, uh, we had the first computer and was a CAD running under MS-DOS. Uh, so mm -hmm. a colleague of mine moved into uh, to CAD, and I I was still doing drawings by hand. Oh, uh, I see. All right. Eventually, I kind of moved uh, to a different company. I've learned myself. I taught myself uh, CAD, in this case AutoCAD, mm -hmm. yeah. and I started doing bridges uh, in 2D, of course, for many mm -hmm. years. Uh, so 15 years ago, I moved into UK. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to at that time was uh, Calbro and then Grontmey and Sveco, but uh, not because I've moved, but just because the companies were being bought, right? I see. So, yeah. uh, and I've learned a great deal of uh, rebar, uh, how the way we do it here in UK, that is very detailed and it's very cool to do rebar right. in UK. Um, when I moved into WSP, uh, that is where the beam world mm. uh, come along from <clears throat> was a reality uh, in a sense that uh, I had experience then with the uh, Bentley EcoSim, with the Revit, until one day I found Tecla Structures and for bridges I was just, okay, this is it uh, for me and for my uh, teams. Uh, this is what I'm going to use. Oh, forever. that's good. Yeah. Uh, then I had a, a experience, a nice experience with Acom, mm -hmm. uh, where I had experience <laughs> with the uh, building teams, mm -hmm. uh, being teams in this case in India and Bangalore and supporting mm. teams, uh, remote teams in, in Romania, Bucharest. Uh, it was great until the opportunity to work with the Tecla Structures uh, as a technical director for Bridges, so Trimble, um, but for Tecla Structures software. Uh, I see. Yeah. Um, came along and that was nearly four years ago. Right, so my background is a uh, modeler, beam, mm. uh, and I did some university studies of quantity surveying. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, uh, I've noticed that uh, during the uh, year 2021, you're not that active in, uh, in YouTube. So any reason uh, that you can share with us? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it was to do with some health problems with my oh, okay. mach my machine. Uh, oh. <laughs> so I'm all right. I'm all right. Mm -hmm. I changed. I changed my my uh, routines, and uh, uh -huh. I'm all right. So it's not a big deal. But uh, the the reality is, I lost a little bit the momentum mm -hmm. that I was mm -hmm. having in wasn't mainly maybe a video every every other week so and i lost that uh, momentum uh, i reduced a little bit my workload even in the office mm -hmm. uh, so because I, I i was i needed to be a little bit more relaxed gabriel i i like the special episode very much why are you not doing more of those episodes there is a reason. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm fortunate here near where I live. I have these three magnificent bridges. Mm -hmm. So and I took my drone and uh, even to the aqueduct uh, and I flew the drone. I researched the history of the bridge and then uh, I created the script and the the, the music. And, the, and so it's very nice because it's very creative. And I, li I really like to create. It takes a, a lot of energy. Um, uh, so the creative part uh, and then the editing part, which I love, by the way. Uh, but the, the thing is, um, there, there is 
when I started, we were in lockdown, right? So mm-hmm. now we are not yet traveling. So I need to start tra- back uh, to traveling uh, and then start recording videos and uh, taking photos uh, of bridges, uh, not only uh, where I live, right? The problem yeah. is I don't have content. So mm-hmm. uh, it's a challenge uh, for yeah. you or your viewers. Uh, if you have content about one bridge, and I'm saying uh, nice videos and uh, nice pictures, maybe even a drone, if it is legal to fly the drone, mm-hmm. yeah, depending, yeah. depending on the, of the countries, right. you need to be 50 meters away. Uh, so if uh, you can do that in a legal way because if it is uh, images taken illegally, mm. I cannot show. Uh, so the if you have that content, just please share that with me because mm. then I will do the research about the bridge and then I can uh, create. But I, I don't want to keep creating mm. only uh, with the bridges uh, based uh, uh, here where I, where I live, right? So that is mm. why uh, I stopped doing those uh, oh, more see. creative uh, right. videos, yeah. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, how do you see the future of uh, bridge modeling design and on, this, uh, on its construction? Right, uh, for me it's very, very clear. So the, the same way uh, when I was doing drawings by hand and my colleague and my friend even today uh, was already doing in CAD and I saw, right, this is the way forward, right? And then this, the same thing happened when we were doing um, the bridges in 2D, including the rebar with CADS RC. And then some people, the buildings department were already using Revit uh, for the buildings, for instance. Uh, for instance. And I saw, right, uh, this is the future. We need to move the bridges into the 3D. And bridges was probably, the, we were the latest uh, to move into the beam world, mm, right? Yeah. So now I see again, very clear that the model-based project uh, or model-based construction or model-based design, it is the future. Um, and there are a couple of reasons for it. Uh, so first we ditch the drawings because the majority of the drawings, uh, are right, the drawing has information, but the model can have information too. Mm. Uh, some key information, uh, all right, that can be placed even into the 3D environment. Right, and the majority of the drawings are so difficult to read that only professionals like like us that we have thirty years experience we can read it. And if we get a, a newbie on site and you give them a complex uh, reinforcement drawing, I'm telling you, they don't know how to read the drawing. Uh, right, but they can see the three D uh, visualization of the cage they're going to to build and apply uh, on site. So it's already a reality, and that uh, VT four in Helsinki, uh, Kiriti Kakovsky uh, Highway, uh, they have twenty nine bridges, and they're building the road. So it's not only the bridge; it's the road and the bridge. So mm-hmm. it's the infrastructure project that is uh, designed, um, approved, and being built just based into 3D models. And mm. sometimes if they need drawings, looks like they are creating a couple of drawings over there. Ren Selva, they are not creating drawings. It's already proven that it is the cheapest way to do. So I have no doubts that the future for the bridge and even road design and rail probably, it will be start teaching drawings, do the design based in models, do the RFIs based in models and start building based in the models. Thank you very much. Okay, good day. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. For the full interview, follow the link below for the Dennis YouTube channel. In the next episode, as promised, I will start with a tutorial for the Bridge Creator extension for Tecla Structure software. I'll see you next week and have a brimmer day.